absolutely beautiful. The summer wedding of John Elledge and Whitney Alexander included a weed tent on the family Christmas tree farm in West Lynn. We were shocked, utterly shocked at the response. People loved it. I'm still getting 15 to 20 texts a day from people saying what a life-changing event that was and what a great experience it was to uh, have a smoke tent there. The California couple used Lake Oswego's Bridal Bliss to plan the day. It was their first request for a canna bar. We posted a couple photos from that wedding on Instagram and Facebook, and they have just blown up. They've gone viral, and people either love it, they think it's such a fun idea, or hate it. They think it's just disgusting. Key for the Bridal Bliss wedding planner was safety, providing transportation for all the guests. The couple came up with the product and hired the bud tender to control consumption. With the new recreational laws, you can only have up to eight ounces on private properties. We had, had about uh, 13 different strains there. I thought maybe it would pull a lot of people away from the reception and that a lot of people would be hanging out in the tent, but it actually did the exact opposite. People really just kind of popped in. At the Oregon Liquor Control Commission, they admit this is new territory. Well, yours was the first question as to whether or not marijuana can be consumed at a, at a wedding in terms of a reception. Well, if someone's holding uh, a wedding ceremony and a reception in their private home or a, a member of the wedding party's home, alcohol and marijuana are being consumed on the premises, that's allowed. Weed bars are not allowed any place that has a liquor license, like a restaurant. And people with a liquor license, like a caterer, can't serve alcohol where marijuana is also available. Caterers should be aware that, that um, they can't be bartenders and bud tenders. The groom in what may be a first of its kind for Portland is happy to be a pioneer. He's a professional marijuana grower in California who thinks offering weed to his guests made the day extra special. The oldest person we had in the tent was an 81-year-old woman uh, that was in there who hadn't smoked weed since the 60s. She loved it.